The, this one is Li4. Okay. It's gonna be here. What does Li4 do? For the um, the large int intestine, it goes That's... in the facial tooth, so very good for to help this. Clear nasal congestion or nasal, um, nasal, yeah, of course. All right. Even even the eye, nasal and mouth everywhere. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Like this. The position, hand position is very important. At this point, if you do like this or like this, there's no acupuncture point. Like this, slowly relax. You may feel something inside your hand. Okay, now you can feel it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It goes that way. It went a little bit up my arm. Whoa. <laughs> Look, it's moving. <laughs> So that's what it feels like to get good acupuncture. When the patient has a hemiplegia, uh -huh. their hands like this. That they're walking like this, right? Yeah. At that time, we use this like this. In the textbook, it's a perpendicular like this, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, for the hemiplegia, a by stroke patient, I use a more longer butt. Uh, this is the same, but that needle goes to the SI3 area. Goes like this. Whoa! Yeah. Ow! We won! Nice. <laughs> so the different technique, different direction. It De uh, depends on what kind of symptom patient has. Wow. When I go through that uh, large intestine meridian, mm -hmm. more pain, and then no pain, and then the Sanja channel, right? More pain here, mm -hmm. and then go, and then SA channel, right? And then you feel pain. So when the meridian lines you can feel the different feeling. And you go, you use one needle to go through? Of course. 